Hello, welcome to your reading, Taurus. Today we are going to look at your current energies and also what's happening in the upcoming weeks for you. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, but I'm setting the intention now that there is a message for everyone watching. So spirit guides, ancestors, angels of Taurus at the highest vibrational frequency. What does Taurus need to know right now? What is going on with Taurus? What will be happening with Taurus in the upcoming weeks? Thank you for your clear and accurate messages. What is going on with Taurus? What is going on with Taurus? Going on with Taurus. All right, Taurus, so back to the deck energy, we have the Ace of Ms or the Ace of Wands, it is reversed. So there's something um, new that has started in your life recently or is about to start, and it might be off to like a rocky start. Um, it doesn't mean it's negative, it just maybe things aren't flowing as easily or as well as you would like. There's still a lot of high energy with the Ace of Wands reversed. It's just maybe a little um, bumpy road, but there's still a lot of energy, a lot of passion, like I'm saying. So let's look into what this new phase is, this new beginning. Uh, so the card representing you right now, Taurus, is the Eight of Ghosts, uh, but it's reversed. So this is the Eight of Cups, but in this deck it's Ghosts. So since it's reversed, it's like you might be feeling like you're stuck in a situation. Yeah, I feel like you want a new beginning, Taurus. Um, but there's some hesitancy right now, and that's why the Ace of Imps was reversed. So something feels like it's lacking in your life, Taurus, and you just don't feel very fulfilled, and you feel stagnant right now, and you're ready for a change. And I feel like a change is on the horizon already, but you're still, there's something here with like some hesitancy, like not wanting to move forward, like... I guess sometimes they say, what, Tauruses are a little stubborn. I can say this because I am a Taurus. <laughs> but no, um, I don't think it's always true. I just think, you know, once you have something going for you, it's kind of hard to uh, leave. But that's multiple signs, too. But I feel like this change has already started because we have Wheel of Fortune in the recent past, which is all about, like, the cycles of life. So I feel like you've really entered into some new cycle, but it might just be off to... A start that's kind of slow, kind of easing into it, um, and I'm not sure really why it's hesitate. You're hesitating. It might be because you're feeling a lack of confidence. Maybe because it is something new that you've never really done before. Uh, with the Queen of Wands reversed here, it does seem like this could be a person in your life too—a fire sign potentially, um, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Uh, doesn't have to be. This could. This is just your overall environment, so this could be the way you're feeling. So when the Queen of Wands is upright, it's all this confident energy, um, like being admired, like just being really comfortable in your own skin. And it seems like you're feeling a little uncomfortable. And it's because there's something here that's new, and you're just, you know, it's out of your comfort zone. And that's good to go out of your comfort zone sometimes. Uh, your guides are really saying like sometimes that's just like necessary for growth and sometimes we just have to you know Look at the guy here. He doesn't look like he really wants to <laughs> this new cycle He doesn't want to spin the wheel of life or whatever play the game of life But that's just you gotta just start new things sometimes. So yeah, there's something here That you're just trying to avoid this new start. You're trying to avoid this new beginning This new phase of life just because you're you know you're comfortable in where you've been but it's time now to grow it seems like that is the message here. Just looking at all these other cards, it's making sense. Well, let's uh, go one by one. So for more information with the strength reversed. So, yeah, there's some fear here that you're not strong enough to do whatever it is you're doing. Um, maybe there might be some fear that, you know, you're not brave enough, that it won't go well, that you're not, like, able to handle this new pressure with whatever this new situation is. Maybe some of you are starting... A new job or you're going out into the world like um, being single now or maybe you're trying to date again this is something new that's a little bit scary for you maybe some of you are also um, like battling some inner demons maybe you're like uh, starting to be like live sober or not shop so much whatever 
um, could be like a weakness that you've identified in yourself and you're, you're trying to tackle it, tame the beast, what, you know, uh, that could be what this is about for some of you as well. Uh, if not, it seems like it's a courage thing, not feeling brave enough, not like kind of doubting your skills. So for what you expect to happen or what's on your mind, we have the king of imps or the king of wands. So you might be feeling like you're not confident, but you know you're going to pull through. You know things are going to be okay, that you're going, like, no matter what you really put your heart into, you usually succeed. Um, but it's just like the getting started that's the hardest part for you. And yeah, I think you really do expect things to go fine. Like you might be putting, like internally, you might be like, you know, not feeling very confident, but you expect things to go well. You expect to have the courage and the strength to um, overcome whatever it is this that's making you hesitate the fear of the unknown it really seems to be you you know you're going to be able to kind of like get over that like once you put yourself out there and do it you're going you know you're going to be fine so that's great it's just starting is the main thing here um because what you fear this further supports what we've been talking about so what you fear or is the hanged man it's like you don't really want um to see things in a different perspective you don't really want to like uh go to the next level um i, I kind of see this too as you wanting to just stay st stuck where you are and not move forward but at the same time you're like afraid that you won't um move forward i uh, sorry i feel like i did not say that very well so there's like something here with you fearing this next level of life this new perspective this like leveling up it seems in some sense you're, you're, there's some fear here. Um, and then there's also this fear that you're stuck where you are now. So it's like, damned if I do, damned if I don't type energy. Like, you know you're going to make these positive changes in your life. It's just, yeah, there's something here with a fear of, of doing it. And for what you want, we have the world reversed. It's like you don't want to get out in the world. You want to stay where you are. What are you so afraid of, Taurus? Like, this is a big deal. We have like a few major arcanas here. We have four. So this is like a huge change in your life, a huge beginning. I feel like there's something that you've just been um, putting on the back burner for a while now, and you know it's time. You know it's time to leave a relationship. You know it's time to quit your job and try something new. You know it's time to like just maybe move or meet new friends. Because, like, the way things are working, you know it's you're not progressing. But, like, at the same time, you're afraid to put yourself out there. But you know what? You are going to. And I love this. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, outside influence, out, other energy. We have the Six of Imps, which is the Six of Wands. You're going to succeed, Taurus. Like, I know you're afraid, but if you, once you put yourself out there and start something new, you're going – this is a victory card. And it's also being recognized. If you're trying to meet new friends and be part of a group or like, I feel like that could really be it for a lot of you. You are going to make friends when you put yourself out there and you're going to be loved. You're going to be supported. This is like total victory, total social recognition here. And for what happens next, we have the page of ghosts. And I love that this is a page because pages are about new beginnings. So... I feel like you are really putting yourself out there and meeting new people. No matter what the new beginning is for you specifically, it definitely has to do with new relationships in your life. Um, and also, like, putting yourself out there, like, learning new things, uh, maybe communicating with new people, uh, trying some new creative hobby or job. I feel like this looks like a stage right here. Like, you're putting yourself out there. And look at the moon, the world's shining, like, you know, your guides, your, the divine are really like looking down on you, really proud for you making the effort to better your life and try new things. It's like you had this mask on or this, you know, and you took it off and now you're like becoming more of your authentic self. And that's amazing. It's scary to do that, to take the mask off. But once you do that, you're going to find your true people in life, your true friends, true, like, you know, your soul family, your tribe. And uh, it's going to be so worth the risk and any conflict you've had for the outcome we have conflict resolution we have the five of swords but reverse i feel like you might have been really hurt in the past by people you know they could have made you feel left out and sad and stuff but that's coming to a close this is all about conflict resolution i feel like maybe you yeah you were hurt by 
relationships, friendships, family in the past. And that's why you weren't putting yourself out there or kind of just being like, you know what, F this. I'm not even going to the dating world anymore. I'm not even like trying to make new friends or trying to make, you know, new coworker friends, whatever it is for you. Because you're like just been burned. You're like, it's not even worth it. But you know now you need people in your life, Taurus. So you're you're going out there and, and you're realizing that not everyone is so bad. The hardest part is you just putting yourself out there. Let's get some more cards for Taurus. What else for Taurus? We have here new moon in Sagittarius. Focus on the positive. Yes. It seems like we everything we've been talking about, it's like there's all this energy on like being afraid of change, being afraid of putting yourself out there. But instead of focusing on what you think are your weaknesses with the strength card reverse, especially look, try and change this around and focus on your strengths. Like you're really brave. You're putting yourself out there. You're trying new things. Like you're amazing. You know, what's good for you and you should be proud of yourself for recognizing that. Um, it's going to be so great learning new things, meeting new people, getting out in the world. Um, just doing more self-care, self-love activities. Like just, I think it'd be really helpful for you Taurus to, um, make like a gratitude list every morning or every night. Um, maybe both. Depends on if you like, you know, if you like kind of feel anxious at nighttime, it would be great to be like a journaling thing in the, at night or vice versa in the morning or again, both would be, I mean, great. Um, but yeah, really focusing on gratitude and thinking about what good will come from you making any changes, getting out of your comfort zone. That'll really help you have a more positive outlook and go after your goals. And then we have new moon in Virgo. Trust all will be well. Yes, everything will be okay. I know it's scary to do these new things. And look, we have two new moons. That's all about new beginnings. And then our first card is the ace. Yes. Yeah, these big these changes in your life are really huge. Four major arcana, that's a big deal. And But you know what? You're going to be... There's so many things here that say... Like, you are going to be successful in this. It just is a little scary. What else for Taurus? Oh, one thing flipped over. Flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Yes, you guys know you deserve better in life. You know you are capable of achieving more. You know you're deserving of love, you know, deep down inside. So don't lower your standards. For some of you, it really will be like leaving a relationship that's not good for you. Leaving, like, toxic friendships, whatever. Leaving a job that you know you could do like better somewhere else. Do not lower your standards. Do not take the easy way out, your guides are saying. It's putting yourself out there and trying new things is going to help you excel and get what you deserve and what you need, what you want. What else? <laughs> new home, new attitude. Some of you guys might actually be moving, and this could be um, a sign... But also, I see this as new attitude. Like, you're cleaning out any bad behaviors, bad negative thoughts, bad relationships, bad environments. You're cleaning out all that does not serve you, and you're having a more positive outlook. And this could also be a sign, like, maybe even your space. It, like, this could be, like, mental clutter. Like, you need to get rid of those negative thoughts we talked about. But also, like, even if you're not moving, it might be really helpful for you guys just to, like, switch up your space. Get rid of any clutter, any, like, stagnant energy in your home. And, like, donate things, sell things. And just, like, maybe even switch around, like, where the furniture is in your house and stuff. Like, that's, like, really good. Like, feng shui, I think they say you should, like, move 27 things a day or something. And I, like, moved my bedroom a little bit recently. And it felt, like, so nice. Like, you can tell the energy is different. So that'll help with your journey of this new beginning and this new positive attitude, not like more of a positive outlook and trusting all will be well. Yes, this all just, all has to do with the new perspective and then getting out of your comfort zone and trying new things. You are going to be so, so victorious. Lucky. Things are going to work out in your favor for sure in this new cycle of life. I love this for you. We have seventh house. Oh my gosh, yes, there's a lot of stuff here with relationships. Seventh house, Gemini, and then we have the North Node. Yeah, you guys, you're destined to have better relationships, more harmonious relationships, better friendships. You just you have to put yourself out there to make these friendships. Um, Gemini is a very social sign, 
And seventh house is all about relationships of all kinds. So it's time to really examine your relationships, form new ones. I think the main thing here, especially the North Node, is like new. We have a lot of new energy. Like focus on positive relationships. Positive, starting with yourself though, and then in your social circle. Trying new things, learning new things. That could be a good way to meet people, you guys are saying. Like, especially with this page of ghosts, like um, taking classes and something you're interested in, even if it's online, just like start putting yourself out there and meeting people who have similar interests with you as you. That would be a really good way to meet people and also expand your mind and your world and all of that. So yeah, your guides are really coming through clear today with messages for you, Taurus. I hope this was helpful. I hope it resonated. I hope you are well. If you haven't already subscribed and you like this reading, I hope you can start doing so before you go. And best of luck to you, Taurus. Things are really going to be so amazing. I see like your relationships are about to get so much better. I love this energy for you. But anyways, that's it. Love you so much. Bye, Taurus.